So today I've got a very quick organizational tip for you guys. And this involves being able to hide a track on the step sequencer. One of the reasons why you might want to do this, and it's the first thing that comes to my head, is if that you are layering sounds. If you've got, say for example, which I'm going to demonstrate in a second, if you've got three snare sounds here, one, two, three, and you wanted to layer them, and you happen to do this with multiple drums, you're going to eventually get a huge list of tracks in your step sequencer to the point where it's gonna, you know, it's gonna sit under the mixer, you can't see it, there's loads of scrolling involved, etc. etc. It's very messy. What you can do is there's a somewhat hidden shortcut or hidden uh, keyboard shortcut in FL Studio that allows you to zip a track. So what you need to do is highlight the track, as you can see the lights here, and then if you just hold Alt Z, it will hide the track. I'll just do that again. And as you can see, it nicely hides away any unused tracks that you still need. They're still being used in the project, but you don't need to change them. So you just right click to undo that. So the example I'm going to show you that you might want to do that is using a layer. So if you just go to channels and then layer, you can essentially root all three of these sounds into a single MIDI sequence so rather than having, you know, all three like that, you can just change a single one. And to do that, you just open the channel settings, you highlight the three tracks that you want, and then you just click set children. So to demonstrate that, I'm just gonna take these out, just play this back. So there are our three snares layered. If I take all of these out, do, 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 do. Sounds exactly the same. So yeah, there are two techniques here. Um, I wasn't planning on covering layering, layering, but it happens to be that layering is also uh, a useful thing to, to do with this technique. So yeah, if you wanna if you wanna obviously hide your tracks, Alt Z, hide them out. If you wanna layer them, channel settings, set children, and off you go. One thing I wanna note is there's one minor, minor nuance with this trick, is that if you've got all these tracks hidden up, Oh, and that's one thing to, to mention as well. If you want to hide them all together, you don't have to do them one by one. You can just do them all together like that. Is if, for example, you've got these two hidden and then you happen to just double click here, it automatically undoes them, which is really annoying. Um, I've written to FL Studio or the guys at the FL Studio website on the forum, just kind of saying, you know, this is really annoying and it doesn't really add much benefit. Um, to the user, especially if you accidentally do it and it's unzipped everything that you've zipped up. So it's just something to bear in mind. Hopefully uh, the guys over there will take that feedback on board and we'll see that change in the future. But yeah, hiding your tracks, layering your tracks, just another small tip to hopefully help you guys with your FL Studio journey. Uh, as usual, please like, comment, and subscribe. And please check out my channel for other videos in the series and videos on other topics, including my own beats and popular presets that you can find in commercial songs. Peace.